to the tale of an epic journey for a terrier named Bear. His owner just picked him up from a shelter in Washington State, and now they're headed back home to California. Now, what's unclear is how Bear ended up making the 750-mile road trip to begin with. Here's Diana Alviar. To know Bear is to love Bear. He's hard to resist. And that's exactly what may have gotten the terrier into trouble. Trouble that began in Sacramento and took him all the way to Tacoma. How he made it through three states in just two days, only Bear knows. Tuesday, he was on the job with his owner, Brian Raposa, and Bear wanted to stay outside. I came out at 2.30 and I didn't see him, so I, I had called his name, looked for him, I didn't see him, couldn't find him. He was gone. Brian called shelters, made flyers, even put together a search party. No sign of Bear. I couldn't think, I couldn't do anything. I was heartbroken. More than 700 miles away, Tacoma's Humane Society took in a high-energy terrier. With no collar and no tags, that could have been the end of the story. But Bear had a microchip, which allowed the staff to scan him and track down his dad. Brian called and said, hey, I hear you have my dog. I'm really excited about this. I want to come get it. Where is it? She started giving me directions, and I'm like, where is this at? And she's like, where are you from? I said, I'm from Sacramento, California. And she goes, oh my gosh, this is, I'm in Tacoma, Washington. I'm like, I just flipped out. Brian drove all night, arriving to find Bear waiting at the door. I started crying. I, I was like seeing my kid born. No matter what we do, it's together. We're inseparable. I mean, I, I, we're like best friends. Best friends now back together, thanks oh only to Bear's chip. It's the best $18 I've ever spent. For Good Morning America, Diana Alviar, ABC News, Los Angeles.